This is your 30 second warning. Twenty seconds until Miss McGill gets cranky. Okay. Yes, teacher. You're not old enough to be cranky yet. To a teenager, I am. Yes. You're an old man. Last year at our membership drive, I learned something from Richard Olofsson. That if you play a harmonica, everybody stops. So that's actually my trick at school. I play my harmonica and the kids stop and stare at me. Because I don't play it well. So, <laughs> stare, glare, I get too confused sometimes. We are moving on to the open mic part of the evening, afternoon. It's always evening in, in the back room. I'm going to tell you the order ahead of time. We're going to do things a little bit differently, just so everybody can be mentally prepared. So I have an order of open mic. It runs like this. With Eileen Clyde, number one. Sylvia Taylor, number two. Diane McGuire, number three. Number four is Deb Kelly. Number five is Jazz Gill. And number six is Aiden Chafe. If you didn't get a chance and you still would like to read the open mic, come see me. I'll put you on at the end of that, okay? But first of all, Eileen Clyde, come on up. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so one of these is sad, but the next one's funny. So, that, so funny. yeah, so that'll that'll help. And uh, I thought it's it's what I'm dealing with right now, so I thought I might as well tell you to come out. Home that I'm dealing with. So, okay, this is what I'm dealing with in my life right now. Um, this is called Dine and Dance at the Cancer Hotel. This is staying at the Cancer Lodge and then going to the um, Cancer Clinic, which is right across the street. It's very handy, actually. <laughs> so I'm sitting in my room at the Cancer Hotel, and this is what's happening. Ice cold tingles, hot rash prickles, memory out, repetition in. The old and the young, none are exempt from this ageless affliction, this tousled, precarious commotion of form. Room with the window, sun splashed gray, square hard cement, an erratic horizon. The pine tree by the window sprinkles down the old brown needles to the tarmac below as the earth struggling with greenery makes a stand. Some rooms have laughter, resonating relentless resilience. Some rooms have tears, languishing chronicles of melancholy despair. My room, an ardent vacuum, a garish, discomposing, incessant camouflage of idiosyncrasy, a hypothermia of emotion. To dine where I am ailing, obscene comestibles of fare that needs impel digestion, provender, viands, victuals, fodder, sustenance, aliments, once rich in relish, antagonists now, Insipid on my tongue. Rest now, rest, think of nothing, while the drug destroys, saves, goes to war. Your chair awaits with needles, tubes, and bags of fluid, strangely poisoned. We don't use the P word here, the nurse caresses. You are not alone. There is an intense camaraderie here. Some are grave, others hide behind a smile. The discourse is varied and light, but in disguise. There is a quiet strength, a calming grace. Where does this journey begin? How does it end? How did I get here? Is anybody really listening? People wait in their wing, wait in the wings for their turn to dance with the drugs and wonder. What a performance. It is another question of life or death. It depends on where the escalator goes, up, down, 
or stopping halfway for a time so I can catch my breath. Now this is the happier one, because that was kind of sad. It's called On the Dance Floor with Cancer and Mary Jane. So you, you dine a dance at the Cancer Hotel, and this is on the dance floor. They used to say I smoked the pot every day, but not a lot. Now doctors say, relight the torch, extend the garden on my porch. How did I get from there to here? From youthful days of spliffs and beer. Those spirits helped us ease the pain, the protest, fear, and pointless rain. Now it's all about the cure, to find a process, whole and pure. It's growing in the mother earth, the sun searching in the tepid turf. How odd it is, no doctors say. It's for your help and not for play. Not for placards, demonstrations, youth. No mind expanding leads to truth. The angry years I thought were gone because I'm old and need some calm. I'm dancing on the cancer floor with all the pain, the world's rancor. It seems to me we have not learned these hard-won bridges that have been burned. But still, hope flashes here and there. I see it in my chemo chair. Mm -hmm.